Hi, my name is Bokhadar Ahmedov. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss one of the applications of the algebraic composition. So essentially, we are going to see how we can solve a system of linear equations using the algebraic composition of a matrix in a much more easier way. So essentially, if you are given the system of linear equations in a matrix form as Ax is equal to the B, and at the same time, you know how to decompose the A as the LU, so you are going to just substitute the A with, the L, with its LU decomposition and solve that system. So essentially, we are going to write down the LU is equal, is times to the X is equal to the B. So here, so please note that you don't know this vector X here and, instead, uh, and, and you know all the other things. So essentially, when you multiply the matrix to this column vector, so, so this is the column vector and this is the matrix, so the result is going to be again the column vector. And the problem is we don't know that column vector, right? So I'm going to write this down that ux is going to be some column vector, and let's say this is going to be equal to y. So I'm going to substitute that y to there, it's going to be equal to the ly, right? So if I would just substitute ux is the y, it's going to be ly is equal to the b, right? So instead of solving one system of linear equations, ax is equal to the b, we are going to solve two system of linear equations. And it's going to be still easier and efficient because solving these two system of linear equations are much more easier. So we need to do one time forward substitution and one time backward substitution. So essentially, we are going to solve this system, the, the second one, first of all, and find the y. Then we are going to substitute this to here, to the first equation, then find the x. So let me show you an example. What do I mean? So uh, in the previous examples, we've decided about the algebraic composition of this kind of matrix. So the A is given as 6 minus 2, 0, 9 minus 1, 1, 3, 7, 5. So let's assume that this matrix is multiplied to the vector x with the components x1, x2, and x3, which we need to find. And this is equal to the B part. So it was the components 2, 2, 3. So essentially, this is the matrix system of linear equations written in the matrix form, Ax is equal to the B. So now what we want is we would like to substitute the A as its LU decomposition. So the A here is going to be written as 6 minus 2, 0, 9 minus 1, and 1, 3, 7, 5 can be written as so 1, 0, 0, 3 over 2, 1, 0. 1 over 2, 4, and 1. So this is the L matrix, L matrix. Multiply to the U matrix, which is 6 minus 2, 0, 0, 2, 1, 0, 0, 1. So essentially the U matrix. So A matrix can be write, written down as a multiplication of the L matrix to the U matrix. Okay. So what we are going to do is, we instead of solving the AX is equal to the B, we are going to solve, first of all, Ly is equal to the B, okay? Then once we find this from there, we are going to solve the U, X is going to be equal to the Y. This is how we're going to deal with this. So let me write down the system, Ly is equal to the B. So the L matrix is here, 1, 0, 0, 3 over 2, 1 and 0, 1 over 2, 4 and 1. So this is multiplied to the Y vector. So which is again the unknown vector with the three components y1, y2, and y3. And this should be equal to the B matrix with the components 2, 2, 3. So how we can solve the system is that it's easy. We need to do the forward substitution. Forward substitution. Right? So essentially, so if you multiply the first row here to this first column, what you get is y1 is equal to the 2. Right? So if you multiply the second row to here to the first column, what you get is 3 over t y1 plus y2 is equal to the 2. So, but we know that y1 is equal to the 2. We're going to substitute this to here. It is going to be equal to the 3 over t times the 2. It's going to be 3. If the 3 goes to the left, it's going to be y2 is equal to the minus 1. Right? And if you multiply the third row here to this column, what you get here is 1 over t times the y1 plus 4 times the y2 is equal to the uh, plus y3 
is equal to the three. So I'm go I'm going to just substitute the values of the y1 and y2 to here. It is going to be one over two times the t. It's going to be one plus four times the minus one. It's going to be minus four plus y3 is equal to the three, right? So from here we can obtain that the y3 is equal to the plus six. Okay, so we solved the system Ly is equal to the b very easily. So we found that the y is equal to the y1, y2, and y3, where y1 is equal to the 2, y2 is equal to the minus 1, and y3 is equal to the 6. So now we're going to substitute this to here to the second system so, and, and, and solve that system. ux is equal to the y. And if you remember, our u matrix was equal to the 6 minus 2 and 0, 0, 2, 1. 0, 0, 1. It should be multiplied to the x vector with the components x1, x2, and x3. And this should be equal now to the y that was the components 2, minus 1, and 6. And you see, so solving this system is again really easy. We need to do one time backward substitution. Backward substitution. So essentially, we're going from the bottom to the top. So if you multiply the last row to the first column, what you get is x3 is equal to the 6, right? Okay, so if you multiply now the second row to this column, what you get here is 2x2 plus x3, and this should be equal to the minus 1 to here. So I'm going to substitute the value of the x3 to here. It's going to be 2x2, 2x2. Uh, is equal to the minus 7, right? So that's why x2 is equal to minus 7 over 2. Okay, and, and at, the, at the end, what we need to do is we need to multiply the first row here to this column. It's going to be 6 times the x1 minus 2 times the x2 plus 0 times the x3, and this should be equal to the 2. This is equal to the 2. So we know the value of the x2. I'm going to just substitute this to here. So it's going to be 6 times the x1 minus 2 times the minus 7 over 2. It's going to be plus 7 is equal to the 2, right? If the 7 goes to the right, it's going to be minus 5 there. So you can find that x1 is going to be equal to the minus 5 over 6. So you essentially found this vector x was the components x1, which is equal to the minus 5 over 6 x2, which is equal to the minus 7 over t, and x3 is equal to the 6. So you see, so solving this two system of linear equations is much more easier than solving one original system of linear equations. If you know the system of linear, if you know the LU decomposition of the A, then you can write down this one complicated system of linear equations as a two much more easier system of linear equations, which, which can be solved by performing one time forward substitution and one time back for substitution.